There's been some dramas that have happened over the past day or so. There was like this weird guy. Maybe I can watch it right now. There was this weird guy who, um, I thought this was funny, uh, who some girl came in and said that her mom died and I think he like freaked out about it or something. I know that I'm in the wrong a little for saying, well, my mom died the stream after being asked where I've been, but the response just isn't it. I made a twit longer thing to share a little background, but here you go. Let me, all right, all right, we'll look at it. Let, let's see what this is. And uh, I, I, I have not, I have not watched this. I, I as just like um, Jesus, I saved myself for marriage and I do not watch YouTube videos off stream. Unless they're really boring, like, 48-minute videos about, like, uh, like, if Gandalf knew the Balrog that he fought in the Mines of Moria. Like, you know, whenever they were spirits in in the realm of Erelivatar. Like, so, like, unless it's a video like that, I, I just, uh, you know, I, I don't watch it. All right, anyway, let's go back over here. We'll watch this video. In Spanish, and it's Chef's Kiss. All right. Curvy, where the fuck have you been? Oh my god, well tell you what, Miss Dirty Curvy, you know what we're not gonna do? We're not gonna talk about it in my chat. Cause it's Friday, and that is a whole big bucket of bummer. And I'm sorry for your loss, but we're not doing that in my fucking chat. Uh, thank you. Well, okay, Ms. I have to admit, like, and I'm not making fun of the guy at all for any of this stuff. Um, this, this does, like, his vocal tone. This is the guy that opens the door to the party that has the keg at, at, at like, you know, the apartment complex that's close to campus. A am I wrong? Like, I feel like this guy totally fucking sounds like that. A hundred percent. Boat shoes? Oh, yeah. It's Dirty Kirby. You said, no, that's fine. You asked, so I told. No, I didn't yes. ask you to tell me the biggest fucking bummer news in the world. I said, hey, what's up? How are you? You know what? Let me give you a little bit of a lesson, Miss Nerdy Kirby. When something really, really bad is going on in your life, and in a public forum, someone asks you, hey, what's up? How are you? There are two acceptable response, uh, responses. Good, and you know what? I'll make it through. That's it. Okay. How are you? Good, or you know what? I'll make it through. Awesome. Love to hear it. See, there you go. Or prom's response. I, yeah, I said, prom, how you doing? She says, I'm alive. There you go. So remember what I was talking to you guys about? How, like, I don't like being around people. So, um, yeah. That's about right. Yep. Oh, I asked you where you were. Look, Mr. DeCurvy, all I'm trying, I'm just subtly trying to tell you that unloading really heavy news Wait, in people's- This isn't subtle. What do you mean? You're saying it to her directly. What do you mean? People's chats on Twitch is not like good etiquette. It's just, it's not the place to do it. That's all I'm trying to tell you. That's it. I'm just, I figured this is a good opportunity to inform you heavy news like that when someone asks hey where have you been you don't need to tell them well my dog died my husband left me for a younger woman my house burnt down and my car got stolen so i've been a little bit busy that's why i haven't been around because it's like oh god like uh oh uh, like you know like if if someone asks like hey what's up where have you been and it's heavy, just be like, I had a bunch of shit going on, so I've been lying low for a little while. Got it. That's it. <laughs> I'm not trying to rip you a new ass. Okay. So we can do one of two things. I can say what I think about this in, you know, just kind of like a normal, everyday way, or I can give what I really think about this whole situation. 
Do you guys want the mask off what I really think about this whole situation? All right. People like these weird fucks for one of the reasons why I don't like being around other people. This is an obvious thing where a person is clearly overreacting. Whenever I see somebody overreact to something, I automatically assume there's something wrong with them. Like there's something wrong in their head, they're on the spectrum, or they're dealing with their own personal trauma, and it's manifesting itself in this weird way where they're getting mad at somebody who actually has nothing to do with it. I, I look at these people like just adult children that are having a temper tantrum. I, I almost don't even view them as, like, people, right? It's just like this weird animal that just doesn't know how to act. And I think that's effectively what happens here. And I told you guys, you want, you want a real fucking opinion. Real fucking opinion. I think that, obviously, the girl going in there... It's always, it, it is definitely true. What he's saying is true to an extent. Whenever, like, whenever you get a donation, Hi, Sody Poppin, uh, mom died, dog died, dad died, brother died, house burned down, lost my job, car stolen, uh, you know, arm fell off, got cancer, but still watching. Love the stream. Here's five. Please respond to my message on Discord. And so, I, th th that's obviously fucking cringe, right? It's obviously fucking cringe. I hate that. Everybody hates that. Now, the difference is that if you ask somebody, how are you doing? There is actually like, and, and what he's saying does have some, some degree of truth to it. Is that whenever people ask you, how are you doing? Um... There is the expectation that you're not going to dump, like, fucking five years of trauma onto them. The way that I solve this problem is I never ask people how they're doing. Because if you ask somebody how they're doing, the social structure... Like, this guy, by the way... Unloading... I, I don't even know who the fuck he is. And if he was, if he was somebody important on Twitch, I would. So, like, this guy is clearly not any sort of important fucking arbiter of what is normal or not normal etiquette on Twitch. And I'm not trying to be rude, but he just doesn't fuck- Like, if you, if you understood Twitch better, you wouldn't be in the place where I don't know who you are. I'm sorry, but there it is. So, yeah, you don't fucking know. And the fact is that, obviously, it can be stressful whenever you have people coming into the stream all of the time and you're you know they're like bringing up like drama or like trauma shit like this like i, I saw this uh there was a thread i i didn't actually watch the clip but i as i said i got the gist of it and um twitch streamers learned the phrase trauma dumping decided it applies to every time anyone mentions something remotely upsetting potentially triggering i just what happened to just oh that sucks man i hope you get through it why are you not able to just do this? Like... I, I don't understand, because like, you want to talk about social etiquette. Like, in any other social situation, you popping off on somebody for two minutes because they said something bad happened to them would not be acceptable. Like, if, if this guy did this at a party, I, and like, you know, everybody is standing around in a circle, right, what people do? I'd walk away. I don't want to deal with this. this is weird. It, it, it's it's fucking weird, man. The apology video was worse. Thank God. Thank fucking God. Now I also want to say that all of the people that are making a personal attack on this guy and trying to harass him as much as they possibly can, I don't even really think they're any better than he is. If you're going and you're sending negative messages to him and shitting on him and, and like calling, calling him like, oh, I hope your mom dies or I hope you die or something like that, these people are just as unhinged as him. All the difference is, is that they think they need an excuse and this guy's an asshole all by himself. They're both fucking pathetic.
It's just, it, yeah, it's, it's just fucking and watch the apology video. Who's even saying that, bro? People say, that, like, do you, okay. Is there anybody who doesn't think that this guy got a bunch of, like, messages that completely go over the line? Like, this, this, this tweet has uh, 30, it, it's been seen over a million times. He 100% did, yeah. And every single person that does that is uh, a, an annoying pussy bitch. Basically. An, an annoying pussy bitch. You know, like, you could maybe think of some other words for it, but somewhere around there. Yeah, an annoying pussy bitch. I, I hate that stuff, and uh, if I ever see people do that, they get cross-banned in my channel, too. I don't like, uh, you know, vitriolic, angry little man-children running around acting like they're Batman by sending a, per a person a message saying to kill themselves because they said something disagreeable on the internet. Get the fuck out of here. Nobody cares. I don't want to hear about it. Nobody gives a fuck. Anyway, let's go ahead. Let's watch the apology video, okay? Um... Uh, w w can somebody give me a link for the apology video? Yeah, I I'd like to see the a link to it. Uh, there's a possibility of him doing this for content or views. No, it's not. Like, I mean, there's always a possibility of somebody doing something like that. But there's also... Being skeptical of everything doesn't make you smart unless there's a reason to be skeptical of it. There is no logical reason that this person would do it for views, because if you assume that they have that level of social acumen to expect that people will react in this way, you would also have to assume that they probably would not have predicted that people would react so negatively. So it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it was a bad apology, but, uh, what is, but it's clearly cut to make it look even worse than it is. I mean, how it's not cut, though. It's a two-minute clip. Like, maybe there is some other type of, like, uh, context that we don't have here or something like that. But the truth is, I bet there's not. There's no difference uh, uh, between always believing it's fiction or real. It's called Poe's Law. I mean, I think that you should base things off of... You should be skeptical about things that you read. Absolutely. But you should not be so open-minded that your brain falls out. Okay? That's all I'm saying. So where's the... Let's, let's find this apology video. Uh, the, the video where he's like apologizing for it, etc. Uh, I know Charlie did a video on it, but I let's see, does he have it in his? Uh, I, I was I was just gonna watch it myself and talk about it. Uh, no, he he doesn't have it in his link below. Uh, we found the body on Twitter. Okay. Uh, Twitch partner growing and grinding. Okay, here we go. So this guy made a, a video about it, discussing the internet hate frenzy. And, and this is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. Is like, there's always people, and, and this is the truth, right? Is that people love a public execution. We've done it for thousands of years. We still do it every once in a while. We just call it canceling people nowadays. People love this shit. So, of course, everybody's getting together to throw rocks at this guy and, and fucking attack him. But in my opinion, I think this guy probably lives in his fucking room all day, streams, he doesn't know how to interact with anybody else. I, I don't know. That's kind of what I'm assuming. Just like the way he talks, the way he acts, his demeanor, his voice, what he's saying. This guy looks like a loser to me. So, if he's a, lo a weird loser, and then big surprise... He, he does something that a weird loser would do. Well, I mean, that's just what happens. You can't even, like, blame him for it. It's not even his fault. It's just, it's, it's how he is. Let's see here. Antisocial. Yay. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's, that's it. All right, let's go ahead and let's watch this. Something for Twitter. That's 37,000 views. Twitter, good morning. I have... Twitter, good morning. I have something that I prepared, something that I've written down that I'd like to share with you guys. Uh, and it's right here on my screen. So if I'm, you know, glancing from the, the camera down to the screen from time to time, it's just because I'm following along with what I've written. Uh, for those of you that okay. don't know me, my name is John. Or disgusting piece of shit, as some of you prefer to call me on Twitter. Either is fine. It's, it's cool. Okay. Uh, on Twitch, my handle is we found the body. I've decided to make okay. a video to address this whole situation regarding my reaction to someone's grief comments in my chat uh, that have gained traction on, on Twitter, which is, you know, why we're here is why we're doing this. Uh, there's a few things that I'd like to make clear about the matter at hand. Okay. 
Firstly, it is well known in my channel that I do not tolerate heavy news, drama, or trauma uh, dumping, if you will, being entered or dropped into the chat. I didn't know that. I mean, I, I will... I, I will acknowledge, however, that if you look at the video, let's see if I, I don't know if I can find the video again, uh, wherever the fuck it was. The girl that did the, uh, uh, the, the girl that, that made the comment, she had the icon on her, uh, on her name that said that she had donated bits or done something before in the past. So clearly there could have been an expectation that, she would have known this because she is a regular viewer of the stream. He said, where have you been? Yeah, so it's not like she was here for the first time. Um, I, I think like for... It, it's very hard to say how to approach something like this. Because this is... A, it, it's like a very weird... Uh, fuck, let me think of a way to put this. It, it's a very weird kind of like counterintuitive thing where if you are a streamer you should never have to deal with people that say things or do things that make you uncomfortable i don't think anybody should have to deal with that if you're at walmart and you're having an unruly customer i think just kick the bitch out just done like nobody has the right to not be able to control themselves and uh fucking inflict that on other people Right. Nobody has that right. Doesn't matter if you're at Walmart, if you're at uh, fucking uh, McDonald's, if you are working at a Wall Street bank. Nobody has that right to do it and to think that they're not doing something wrong. And I think it's the same with streamers. So just because you're out there and you're putting yourself out there does not make it OK for other people to not respect your boundaries. But at the exact same time, you have to know that a lot of people are going to not respect your boundaries because they're probably just as weird as you are. They probably don't know how to act in real life either. They don't know how to fucking like understand a social situation. They're like caught up in their own emotional problems. And whenever they see something and somebody asks them, they just want to get it off their chest and say something. And in doing that, it can make other people uncomfortable. And this is what happens whenever uh, this happens all the time on Twitch, right? Where two people that are socially maladjusted uh, collide. And guess what? There's fireworks just like there is right now. So the problem is that whenever you stream on Twitch, you should never have to be faced with something that makes you uncomfortable and you should never feel like you should deal with something that makes you uncomfortable. But the reality of that, this is an idealistic viewpoint, but the reality of that is that you will. You do, you have to, and you will. And if you don't deal with those different things in a constructive and healthy way, you just look like a stupid asshole. So, like, for example, like that one guy came in, he was talking shit like, oh, you're a millionaire, why are you crying? Now, I, I made a comment about that. Imagine how bad my stream would be if that's all I did. That's all I did was just sit around and fucking argue with these people constantly. And uh, obviously, it's not a good thing. Obviously, they shouldn't come in here and say this. Obviously, people should respect your personal space. But when all of those things don't happen... A chain is only as strong as its weakest link. And if you can't amicably resolve a situation that makes you uncomfortable without making the other person super uncomfortable whenever their intention was not malicious, you do become the asshole. So that, that's, that's in general the framework that I'm dealing with here. Okay? This has been discussed and explained and made clear many times while I've been live over the last four plus years that I've been on Twitch. Okay. I also have a rather lengthy text command that appears frequently and explains this in my chat in words, uh, maybe for anyone that, that doesn't have volume on or maybe is hearing impaired. Um, regulars know this information well. The people that come to my channel often, they know this. They see it all the time. Um, so that's something that I want to make sure everyone understands. 
Yeah, I can understand why he wouldn't want people to come in and say that if it makes him uncomfortable or he doesn't like it. But you have to look at it from the other person's point of view, too, is that, like, you know, they just had their mom die or something like that. So they don't want to just sit around and, like they they that is the in their eyes. That is probably the worst thing that has ever happened to them. Uh, speaking from personal experience, it was for me. So whenever they come into the chat, they are so emotionally compromised and upset about the situation that they are not thinking rationally. That's the truth, right? They are not thinking about your boundaries or anything like that because they're really upset. Now, does it make it okay for them to just completely ignore your boundaries because they are really upset? No, I don't think so. I think that if you take that logic to its conclusion in any regard, it's clearly faulty. But, I, I mean, you still don't have to pop off like that. Trying to find a way to grieve and everyone does that for different things. Yeah, yeah. And, and like it made them uncomfortable. It, it's it's unfortunate that this kind of stuff happens, but that's just how it goes. But he asked. Yes, he did ask. And and this is like this is, I think, the worst thing about it. It's like if she had come in and she had just brought this up randomly, I think somebody could make much more of an argument that like, you know, it was like a it, it was like a both sides type situation. But I don't really think this is really that much of a both sides type situation because whenever you solicit, how are you doing? And she doesn't say, I'm fine. And and, and then move on. Uh, you, you know, like that's maybe, maybe, maybe you did that too. Maybe that's a little bit of an own goal there, right? I mean, like you, you decided to have this person talk about this. Yeah, she's not rational. No, she's not. And, and, and few people really are rational whenever they're they're uh, confronted with something that makes them upset. That's why, like, usually emotions and rath rationality are on, uh, they're, they're like a spectrum, and one is on one side, one's on the other. The more emotional you are, the less rational you are. The more rational you are, usually the less emotional you are. Like, this is just generally true for me, at least. I don't know about you guys, but that's that's how it is. So you have a situation where this guy clearly has his boundaries. The girl oversteps those boundaries, but I don't think that she really did because he asked her and she said something. Is she supposed to know all of the social nuances of what you're supposed to say in this situation? Because also he said in the clip that this is what people are supposed to say all the time, not just in his stream. So it's a bit much. Let's keep going. I, I'm, I'm, I have so much to say about this. Uh, secondly, the clip that this individual has provided was edited and chopped up to cut out a lot of the context and dialogue required, I feel, to fairly assess the matter as it truly unfolded. Everybody has been clipped out of context. Everybody has had this happen. Uh, I have a feeling that, like, yes, th th this could happen, but what, what, is, what is the context then? Like, I, I'm fine with somebody saying, like, oh, this was taken out of context if you then provide the context or show how it's different. But let's see if he does that. Uh, you've seen the edit, but what it doesn't show is that twice I didn't acknowledge her comments about the deceased family member on purpose. I read them to myself but didn't react in depth. In an so, like, if somebody asks you, like, this is, and, like, this is what I, remember what I was saying before about how, like, you have this, like, weird, like, these are weird people, like, internet fucking, uh, you know, these are not, these are not grass touchers, okay? These are not outdoors enjoyers. These are not people that do not, the, the, all of these people have a vitamin D deficiency because they don't go out into the sun. And and again, like I'm kind of like one of these people as well, but I can sometimes see whenever it's happening to other people. Whenever somebody messages you, you ask them something and then they respond and then you don't acknowledge it. What do you think they think happened? Well, I would bet they they didn't see the message. That's probably what it was. Because guess what? I have some annoying fucking idiot in my chat. Did you watch the new video by, uh, did you watch the new video about how Sam Bankman Freed's getting arrested? It's on Coffee's Villa. You got to watch it right now. And then they, all right, when are you coming back to Final Fantasy? 
When is the uh, Stormblood Thrims? Alright, uh, when will we go and do MF Cool? Over and over and over. And I, I and like it it's like, but the difference is I didn't fucking ask. I didn't fucking ask you to ask me how the when the fuck I'm gonna play Final Fantasy. Yeah, I saw it! I saw it the first time, the seventh time, the thirty-eighth time, and now you're fucking banned. But I didn't ask. If you ask, and then you don't respond, the person is going to think that you didn't see the message. But when am I going to play Final Fantasy? Hey, look, soon, man. Come on. Attempt to simply avoid having the stream temporarily hijacked yes. uh, by this type of heavy, serious trauma commenting. It wasn't until the third time that she I do find it to be relatively ironic that you have a name, we found the body, but you don't want people to talk about trauma? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, like, this, maybe this is just, like, me reading into it a little bit too much. But, come on. ...it up in chat and expressed how horrible life has been that I reacted to it the way that I did. One very important detail that I think I should share... Okay. ...is that this individual has been spoken to about... ...has been spoken to about this, uh, before. This is not the first time that she's violated the expectation that people not share heavy news in my channel. Previously, she shared uh, in my chat very personal, detailed, potentially triggering... Uh, it's horrible for, a, for her to have done that. I can't believe that she would do that to him. This is the kind of stuff, again, that makes me not like leaving the house. How could she possibly do such a thing? It's like, if, if he doesn't like that and she's still doing that, yeah, that's kind of weird, but, like, her mom died and so she's not thinking rationally about it. Like, that's just, it, it is what it is. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I mean, like, it, it's like, how do you... Like, for example, um, yesterday uh, I had to pick up a prescription, okay? Okay. And I, I picked up the prescription, and I was putting my my credit card, or whatever the fuck, into my uh, into the machine. And guess what? Guess what didn't happen? The chip didn't get red again. What a fucking surprise! Wow, have you guys ever had that happen? I have it happen like twice a day. I don't know I, I, why the fuck swiping it never didn't work. It worked every single fucking time. Half the strip can be gone. Somehow you can swipe it and it's totally fine. But the chip, if there is one little fucking microscopic speck of dirt in front of it, the chip doesn't get red. I fucking hate it. So anyway, uh, this happened and uh, I, I go and uh, I, I, I do it. And the guy gets so mad at me. He like ta almost takes it out of my hand. He's like getting mad at me. And I'm like, okay, so he's like really mad or something because like I didn't listen to him and I didn't do it the way he wanted me to do it. And he's like free. He's like getting really angry at, uh, about this. I'm like, okay. And then I'm like, all, all right, well, you just, just do it. Like, I, I mean, okay, let me, I just, just want to like, like I'm not there to prove a point. This person is just a NPC that I need to interact with to obtain my health potions. I don't need to be friends with you. I don't care about your personal... I don't care if you get mad at me. I don't care if you yell at me. I just want to choose the dialogue option that ends this quest as quickly as possible. I don't give a fuck. So he gets mad at me. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, just go ahead and do it the way you want. Because my goal is not... My goal is to get this person out of my life as quickly as possible. And I don't understand how you have people like this who spend so much time and effort focusing on people that make them mad. What's wrong with you? Just fucking stop talking, just ban her. There's somebody in my stream that came in and made me mad. 
I remember there was one time I became officer of my guild. There was like three troublemakers in the guild. I just kicked them all out of the guild. Problem solved. Boom. Done. Fuck them. They're done. Guess what? Problems are gone. Yeah, I just kicked them out. And, and, and that was it. But he'll only have five viewers. Well, what did he have before? Six? Who cares? It, it's better for your own growth that you don't have people in your life that make you uncomfortable constantly. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, but why not talk in length about 20 minutes about their troublemaking? Yeah, why, why, because, again, it's just not in my best interest. You do all the time? Yes, for entertainment. I make fun of people for entertainment. If anybody is actually raided with me off stream, if somebody makes a mistake, I just kick them out. I don't even listen to them. I don't even want to hear anything. I don't even care why they did it wrong. You disconnected? Great. Let's get somebody with a better internet connection. First time doing the fight? Let's get somebody who it's their second time. Oh, I didn't know what I was doing. I made a mistake. Let's get somebody who doesn't make mistakes. I don't give a fuck about you. Get the fuck out of here. If I could do this solo, I'd do it. The only reason I'm with you is because I have to be. I, I am way worse off stream. I am so reasonable, so nice on stream. Sheesh. No, I, I'm not. The thing is, I can understand if it's somebody who I trust, etc. But like if we had any situation like what we had on Tuesday, it happened whenever I was off stream. Uh, D4 interview live stream in one hour. Are you on it then? Uh, am I on the stream? No, but uh, I'll watch it. Yes. He's not an asshole. No, I'm not an asshole. I, I, I don't think I'm an asshole. Well, I am an asshole, but I'm not an asshole for this. Comments regarding a toxic relationship that she was involved in. And this was approximately a year and some months ago. Uh, and at that time, I did in fact let her know that I don't appreciate or entertain that type of commenting in my channel. Her and I uh, met in Discord. We spoke privately and discussed her relationship situation as friendly acquaintances. And she expressed to me that she understood why I don't like that sort of thing being entered into my chat. We had an understanding. The frustration you witnessed in that edited clip that she provided is a result of this expectation not being understood as I believed it was. The frustration okay. from having her argue in chat that she was, quote, just answering my question even though she's been spoken to about this type of thing before and she knows full well you know she was a streamer for a time i've lived my life with one i you know you know liver king has nine ancestral tenants i probably have about the same one of my ancestral tenants is people who have problems are problems and if somebody that I just met was talking to me about this problem, I would stop talking to them entirely. Because a normal person does not have conflicts like this. This is not a conflict that a normal, well-adjusted person has. Now, to me, I am... In most cases, unless I get fucking mad about a video game, relatively rational. And I hate being around people who are unpredictable or who are unstable. My mom was very unstable. She would do things that would stress me out constantly. And it was like you're, you're, you're basically, it's like you're living with somebody that's like a constantly exploding bomb. And they have a bomb on their back, and they're always trying to light the fuse. They're always trying to light the fucking fuse. They're always trying to, there's something going on, and it just stresses me out. You're walking on eggshells around them because you never know what they're going to do. I, I, it just, like, I, I uh-uh, nope. Nope. Uh, I don't want to deal with that. Like, if anybody ever yells at me, that's probably the last time I ever talk to them. I do not allow anybody to yell at me. I have never yelled at another person in real life before in my entire life. Never. And if anybody does that to me, I cut them out. That's it. I don't want to deal with this. McConnell, what was in real life? 
so yeah, people like this that have these types of like petty, silly, weird little problems. I, 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 I hate being around them. Uh, that this type of thing is most certainly frowned upon. Dude. dude, I'm getting follows right now. From Joe JCKS, Bro Chacho. Welcome to the channel, dude. Thanks for the follow. As I said, this is the guy that opens the door and greets you whenever you come into the frat party that's in the closest apartment complex to the campus. This is 100% that guy. Like, let's be honest here. A hundred fucking percent. Yeah. Maybe we should just, uh, you know what? Fuck it. We're not going to cut this out. Let's, let's, one and done, I like to say. One and done. I say that um, too. Where was I? Uh, oh, yes. Thirdly. Oh, my third point. Yes. I'm still counting the points. Firstly, secondly, thirdly. Yeah. Uh, and this is where a lot of you. And this guy really doesn't do himself any favors because he's so unlikable. That's the truth. He is so just like monumentally unlikable. He's not taking it seriously at all. He's talking about getting follows. He's acting like he went into this weird like Twitch streamer mode whenever he's like, oh, thanks for the follow in the middle of an apology video. You're obviously, are you breaking character then or are you breaking character now? It's just fucking weird. Hate me more than you already do. It's not my job to take on people's grief or drama while I'm live. No, it's not. Why would it be? That's a totally okay. You don't have to. But you make a big deal about it, then you, you are. Big or small, seemingly harmless or not, it's, it's just not my job. It is my job, however, unfortunately. I have people all the time that go and they message me. They're like, man... Uh, I really want a PS5. Here's my cash app. You know, like, uh, you know, my, my uh, that, that's it. And they will message me this shit all of the fucking time, constantly. And it is annoying, and I see it in chat too. It's like, oh, you know, like, my dog needs help, and I need to, or like, my cat needs help. Oh, my, my goldfish has depression, and we need to pay for a therapist for it because the goldfish can't remember anything, and they just keep getting depressed because they don't remember what was happening. And, and it's just like, oh, my God. Like, what is this? And, yeah, of course I don't want to deal with it. It's fucking weird to have to repeatedly explain to specific individuals that they violated the channel rules. I think like another thing, this is another, sorry, I don't mean to pause again, but this is another issue with this, I think, is that he, the, the way that he structures explaining this topic is extremely condescending. Like this individual was spoken to. This is like, this is something that like whenever, you know, my parents are, you know, getting called from, the, it's like, well, little Zachy, he, uh, uh, you, you know, um, what would I do? Oh, I would put uh, like, glue, I would glue the desk to the ground. <laughs> Fuck them, right? And it would pull the, the, the little, uh, the flooring up too. I would glue all the desks to the ground. Well, cause it's like, we had to rearrange them multiple times in like the day. And so I just, every time that like I was there with like my friend and like we were in, we were, our desks were next to each other, I would just glue them to the floor because it's like, oh, well, I mean, fuck, then we can't move because it worked. The fucking like, she couldn't pull it. She couldn't pull the desk up. So I was like, oh, I guess I got to sit here with Jimmy. Oh, okay. And, and there it is. And, and so anyway, uh, like, I'm trying to, oh yeah, yeah. So like you get sent down to the office for this. And like, this is the tone and like the language that, the vice principal uses whenever they're explaining what your child did wrong in third grade. You see what I'm saying? It's just so condescending. It's so patronizing. Ugh. And chat expectations to not share heavy energy changing news or drama in the chat. Energy changing. Now I understand that I was somewhat harsh and crass and insensitive to this woman. 
I'm I'm sorry for that. I have apologized. I'm still sorry for it. Um, I'm sorry for hurting her. Let me give you a bit of advice. Streaming is very much a it is very much a business of being likable and people to be able to relate to you. I think this is very important in streaming and you're not really going to be successful or anything like that if you put on this fake persona where you don't allow any sort of negative emotions exist in your channel. Nobody's going to think you're a real person because that's not how real people feel. And obviously, this guy's been streaming for four years, hasn't really done anything with it. It's clear that you're doing something wrong. Let's just take a little bit of a fucking advice. Stop trying to put on this weird fucking act and just be a normal person. It's doing everything wrong. Yeah, it's like nobody wants to see this massive fucking... Uh, like, this isn't OnlyFans. Nobody's going to steal this and upload it to YouTube on some fucking... Some other account or, like, pretend it's them or catfish somebody pretending to be you. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, wh why do you have this massive watermark on your screen like you're a girl from OnlyFans? Like, get the fuck out of here. It, it, really? I mean, I, I'm not trying to be rude. But... It's like you you just you don't even understand what you're doing. You don't even understand why people watch streams. You don't get it. It's not a wall print. He moved his hand up and his hand was underneath this, which means that this is an overlay. It is not printed on the wall. Feelings and for being, you know, cunty about it. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sorry for reminding her and others in the community to leave your baggage at the door when you enter someone's chat. I should have just uh, skipped over her comments and moved on, but I didn't. And people make mistakes, and that happens. I, I think I think that what I would have done in his situation is I would have said, wow, that really sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. And, and that would have been it. Because that would have ended the... That would have been the fastest way to solve the problem. Yeah, that, that's why, because, like, again, my goal, like, I don't know her, he doesn't give a fuck about her, totally fine if you don't give a fuck. So just get her out of your life. This dude seems emotional? Well, that's the problem, right? And this is why a lot of people like this. Like, I'm kind of like this, too. Like, I have a very hard time managing my emotions. I do. And this is why I don't like to have people bring them out in me. Because I'm very bad at dealing with them. Like, straight up. So anybody who puts me in an emotional state makes me unstable. And so I stay away from those people because I don't want to feel that way. To be uh, one of the mistakes that I've made. I think it's important to mention uh, for those of you that don't know me at all, which is damn near all of you, that I'm very upfront with people. I understand that my personality, my demeanor, my choice of words isn't for everyone. I am a very strong flavor that a lot of people don't like. And I'm okay with that. And and that's good, right? If you want to be an asshole and, and you want to go out on a limb and, and be this kind of a person, that's totally fine. You can be whoever you want to be. You can say whatever you want to say. That's totally fine. But obviously, people are going to not like it. Like, that's just the way it goes. I don't pander. I don't pussyfoot around something that bothers me or needs to be said. Well, you're clearly pandering and pussyfooting right now. You wouldn't have made this apology video. You're not apologizing for anything because you're not sorry. He's pussyfooting right now. Just say like, hey, listen, I told her not to fucking bring this shit up. She brings it up again. I don't want to fucking deal with it. I've got my own problems. Everybody else does. Fuck off. But he didn't do that. You know why? It's because he's pussyfooting. I don't mind informing someone that their chat etiquette fucking sucks. No matter the situation, clearly. Mm -hmm. And for those of you on Twitter that uh, want to crucify me, you know, you want to chop me up and roast me, have at it. Type until your fingers are sore. As it is my right to decide what's okay in my chat it and is. my channel. It's his right. It is your right for you to decide how you'd like to roast me on Twitter. 
I haven't commented, replied, liked, shared, or retweeted any of it at this point. I think that it is important to keep things relatively civil. And if you, there is a line, there is a, absolutely a line where people do go over that line. Now, whether it's acceptable or not, or, or like whether somebody should get banned for this or not, I don't really know. But there is absolutely a line and people cross that line constantly. And they do it because they think, oh, well, this girl was in a bad position, so I'm going to, like, stand up for her or some fucking stupid thing. And my idea of, like, you know, standing up for her is going and harassing this random guy. Point. And I'll be keeping it that way. But I do read some of it. In my opinion, it's just as cringe as he is. Like, some, like not much, but some of it. And I'll be taking your views into consideration Probably with popcorn in the Discord with a few homies, if I'm being completely honest. That's I fine. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's good to not take that shit seriously. Okay, fine. I'd like to end this little rant by saying Twitch is an amazing place. I fucking love streaming and the incredible community that I'm a part of. I have met some of the most significant people in my life on Twitch. Great. So I value and appreciate it, like what it offers us all. It's not lost on me. It's... It's one of the most important things in my life. A lot of you don't really know who I am, um, but now you know a little bit. I'm jagged, I'm flawed, I'm obnoxious, I make shitty jokes, and I'm a fucking asshole. I don't try to hide that, I never have. But at least Fine. you know what you're getting from me. Fine. Like, the, okay. All right, that's okay. Okay, that's called consistency. Mm -hmm. Consistently a fucking asshole. Isn't that like uh, what they teach you in like YouTube streamer school? How to be a streamer 101. Consistency. Well, I've got that in spades. Well, not really because you got the video. You, you do the video about it. Then you talk to her like off stream. Like, I, I, I don't know. I mean... Again, it's like if you want to be this kind of person, it's up to you. You can be this kind of a person. The best thing about existing is the fact that you can choose how you want to do it. If he wants to exist and just be a jackass, that's his right to do it. Uh, Twitter, it's been swell, but I got to go. Uh, if any of you would like to check out the yeah. channel, that would be fucking tits. That would be fucking... Fuck it. Not, not fucking, like, not fucking tits, but it would be like fucking tits. I told you guys, he is, the, it, it, like, I, I fucking, I pegged this shit within the first 30 seconds of his first video. I, I, I fucking, I saw it, I could tell, like, there's just, you just, you, you look at him and you just know. Tits. If you uh -huh. guys would, you know, swing by the channel sometime. I'm partnered on Twitch. I stream full-time Monday to Friday, and my streams go live at 1 p.m. Eastern. My channel is 18+. plus. A lot of fucked-up shit gets said, and I stream a variety of games. Yeah, we just something saw for it. Everyone. Feel free to swing by anytime and see what all the commotion is about, or don't. You don't have to swing by. Oh. That's the beauty of Twitch. That's the beauty of making a choice. We can choose who we watch. Okay. Right? You don't need to watch a streamer that offends you or doesn't entertain you this is so true though i will be honest this part is true the fucking people that spend all of their time uh, like engaging with streamers that they don't like this is a fucking mental disorder i hate it like you laugh or engage you you know whatever you make what you make the choices that are right for you um if you do swing by all i ask what is that maybe just maybe you don't bring in any drama or trauma or heavy news or baggage into the chat because, you know, it's happened before and I've been known to fucking lose it when that happens. Cheers, guys. Have a great fucking day. I, I have to say, I feel so smart that I fucking caught this within 10 seconds of watching the first video. I immediately knew who the guy was. I, I knew everything about the dude that you needed to know. Yeah, he's kind of unstable. I, I don't know if he's unstable or not, 
but he's just a weirdo like that's all like he's a weirdo he doesn't know how to act again obviously whenever you act this way out frat party whenever you're 19 20 21 it's one thing half your fucking beard's gray like his is and you're still acting this way it just sounds weird uh it, it's like you're not acting your age it it just seems kind of juvenile and 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 uh repressed so yeah i, I mean that that's about it and uh, the ending, though, cracked me up. Yeah, it was just pretty fucking... It, it was out of nowhere, man. That's great. Now watch Cocaine Bear trailer, sure. He'll probably get loads of trauma dumping now, ironically. Oh, 100%. So, yeah, basically this guy, for anybody who's just catching up with this, uh, this dude, uh, this, this girl came into his stream, and he just completely... Like, she, uh, her mom died or something, and, like, she was telling him about it. And she just, uh, you know, he asked her, he's like, how have you been? And she says, oh, my mom died. And then he gets mad at her for like a quote, I've never even heard of this, trauma dumping. Applies anytime someone mentions anything remotely upsetting something you're triggering. Uh, I did have something constantly trauma dumping for weeks in my spaces. Like, I don't understand how people have these kinds of problems. I never have these kinds of problems. If I have a problem with somebody, I delete them. They're done. That's it. There's no problem. How, how, how do you... Yeah, they're fucking... Oh, this person's fucking annoying. Oh, I, I know how to do, deal with this. All right, look, ban them. They're done. Okay. No more problems. So it's like, yeah, new mobs clap them. That's right. Yeah, well, who, do you think to, who do you think told the mods to clap them? I did. Yeah, that's it. A be specific, he asked why she'd been missing from chat, and she said her mom dying is why. Oh, yeah. She said she wide she had been gone, and it's because her mom died. Yeah, uh, uh, final note here. If you're unable to keep your anger in check and go on a bullying tirade for three minutes because a few people have tried to trauma dump, get better mods, uh, or, or fuck off of Twitch, manning a community, managing a community is not for you. Exactly. And, and this is the paradox that I was talking about. That it is clearly not okay for people to go into somebody else's space and make them uncomfortable by saying things that make them uncomfortable. And a person should never have to feel uncomfortable in their own stream, in their own space. And they should never have to deal with this for really any reason. So that's very, very true. However, if you act like a bitch about it, it just ruins the show for everybody. Like that's that's the reason. Like yeah, it you just you, it just ruins the fucking show because it, it's it's annoying, and nobody wants to see it. And uh, isn't a public stream public place? Uh, no, I would not say like a, a a stream or whatever. Like I don't know. I think that if if this is something that you have a hard time understanding the nuances of, you need to leave the house more than once a month. Because I, I I don't know any any of my friends that like actual real life friends that would ever not understand this. Like I never have this problem with people. These are only weirdos on the internet that don't know how to have any social interaction with each other, and they do this. Uh, he doesn't uh, want the vibes to be down in his stream, but his rant brought the vibes down himself. Yes, exactly. It's like, don't kill the vibe while he's killing the vibe by telling people not to kill the vibe. Uh, I'll read a few of the comments on this, and uh, then afterwards I want to just go ahead and talk about something else. Uh, I've pretty much said nearly everything that I wanted to say about this, but let's go ahead and finish this off real quick. And he's bragging about how many followers and subs he got in the last 16 hours. We're indirectly supporting this inconsistent asshole. I don't give a f like I don't like I don't care about this guy. I don't care what happens to him. I don't care I don't give a fuck. I'm just talking about this. Yeah. I I, it, I it just doesn't it's irrelevant to me. Okay, let's see here. Um uh, struggle is abusive friendship. I don't know what the fuck that is. Um, here's how a decent human being responds. Okay, here's Doc. You're the best doctor ever. Hey, Catsino Royale, man. Sorry to hear about your loss. That sucks. That is not a fun time, huh? Damn. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you being in the arena. Especially on a Friday. We're the champs. We get a little crazy. We get a little psychotic. Bro, he's talking just like a radio show host, isn't he? 
Just like the the demeanor, the cadence, everything. Like this is fucking pure radio show host. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right, Doc. You listen up and you listen good, okay? Okay. You, you and I have been playing. <laughs> Just out of fucking nowhere, man. Oh my God. It's Tim, it's little Timmy Tenders. Oh my God. So look, here's the thing is like, anybody comes in there and says that, I'm like, yeah, it sucks, man. I'm like, I hope I can distract you. Like, that's all I say every time, right? I mean, because I say the same thing, like I try to, and you guys know this, like I very rarely talk about any sort of like, per, like I intense personal problems. Like I, I will mention that they happened, but I don't think that anybody should use Twitch for therapy. I don't think people should use, I don't think streamers you should use their chat for therapy. I don't think viewers should go and uh, fucking use their, uh, like the other chat streams for for therapy this is unhealthy for everyone it's 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 bad and and i don't I, th I don't think it's a safe space for somebody to express themselves now if you do that you can do that but i i don't know it's unbelievable trying to tell me that's your thing is that what you did absolutely not yeah uh, i don't think it is uh, and asked where she been she gave him an honest answer obviously not trauma dumping yes who's the dude just want to talk who cares? Um, let's see here. You should have covered this simply. Sorry for your loss. Uh, his response was out of line. Absolutely deplorable. You didn't overshare. You answered his question. Yeah, I think it's the fact that he asked the question. People calling it trauma dumping. There's no real people saying this. Like, everybody is agreeing with her. Yeah, there's like five people with anime profile pictures that are saying that, like, that's what you get, bitch. And, like, the only reason they said that is because a girl called them ugly in high school last week. Like, or middle school, sorry. Like, it, it's nothing personal. Yeah, this is, this is, the, they're, they're trauma dumping by saying that you're trauma dumping. That's probably what's actually happening with them. Yeah, it's just weird. TikTok's probably the biggest offender using it as a therapy session. Yeah, I think it's not a good thing in general. I'm not a fan of it. And, uh, yeah, it's the problem. If you don't care, don't ask. Yeah, exactly. It's just that simple. Uh, give it a break. It's hard to listen to. Sorry for your loss. Yeah, it's just uh, trauma dumping is an unhealthy behavior that tends to involve long, uninterrupted vent venting sessions about one or more stressful, painful, or traumatic experiences one has had. One can do this to friends, family, colleagues, acquaintances, usually without the other person's full permission or consent. Yeah, it's like I, 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 I mean, I, I, I've had people do this to me, and it's like. It, it, it's weird, but there's a lot of things people do that are weird. You, you know what I mean? Like it's just yeah, it, it's there's a lot of things people do. I, I don't I don't know. Like it's just not like I, I don't I don't really like I, I I don't know. Zoomers love hyper medicalizing terminology. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, obviously, frequent viewer based on his first question. Sorry for loss. Yeah, it's just it's just so fucking weird, man. Drives me crazy. My therapy? Yeah. Uh, does anybody else have any more comments on this? I want to move on. Talk about some other shit. Should treat chat like a nice restaurant to open the public, but you aren't privileged to say and do what you want. Yeah, I think that's clever enough. I like that. And uh, weird. Uh, don't forget Asmongold. Weird is perspective, not truth. Well, I, I mean, this is, this is the truth. Is that you should do whatever makes you feel comfortable, and you should try to do that with as little friction to other people as possible. That's that 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 I do think is true. Do what makes you feel comfortable without fucking ruining other people's lives or, or stressing other people out about it. Right? It, it's not hard. Did you cross platform stream to YouTube? Watch it on my TV. I think you have. You can watch uh, Twitch on TV too. Do you think he's content farming? No, nah, he's just a stupid asshole. Who cares? Uh, let's see. What's this here? Uh, people complain about trauma dumping are mostly sociopaths. I think. I would actually say that it's the opposite. I would say that it's people that are very emotionally or like empathetically driven and trauma dumping. Cause like uh, people have called me a sociopath a lot. Okay. 
trauma dumping doesn't really bother me very much because most of the people that do it to me, I don't really care about what happened to them. It doesn't matter to me. It's, it, it's like, you know, Pikachu used Thundershock. It's not effective whenever you're fighting Onyx. It doesn't do any damage. Yeah, it's not effective. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't care about it in the first place. So if they tell me this, I'm glad they're telling me this because it's not going to stress me out. Yeah, well, what's this here? Um, except Pikachu beats Onyx? I don't know, man. I played that one. It was a Pikachu? I mean, I, I don't know. You guys see what I'm saying. It's like fucking, I, I'm just immune to that kind of stuff. Not immune, but much more resistant than an average person. It's better that people uh, don't think you care, in my opinion. Sure. Nobody cares unless it affects them. Some people do care. There are people out there that are very emotionally driven, and it's easy for them to feel the way that another person feels. Like, I've never understood crying about something bad that happens to another person. Or, I've never cried during a movie. It just doesn't happen. But other people do. Now, I understand that I am not the only person. My understanding is actually there are a lot of other people out there, and each of them are a little bit different than I am. You didn't cry for Shrek? No, bro, I was playing my Game Boy in sixth grade. Like, we used to watch that shit like once a month. Hell no. Let's see here. Took, uh, broke up with Izzy and took months off, dude. Come on. Exactly. Because it happened to me. Don't you get it? Things that upset me are things that happened to me. Things that happen to other people don't upset me because it didn't happen to me. It happened to them. It's not my problem. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it, 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 duh. I mean, I think that's kind of the way that it is for a lot of people. You don't empathize well. I do empathize. Well, I, I don't know. I, I could go through and explain it or whatever. I think that the more I explain how I feel, the worse it sounds. Just generally. The, the less I express, like, oh, how I feel about certain things, it's just generally better for people to not really know. Do you feel happy for others? So, yeah, I do. I, I, I'm glad to see people do well, etc. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I, I am. Like, whenever I see somebody, you know, successful or hit, like, a, you know, a milestone or something like that, I, I, I'm very much... Uh, I'm, I'm very much happy for them. Absolutely. It gets hot and up in this room, man. We got to get some more insulation up in this bitch. This shit's hot. So yeah, take it off. Yeah, I'm good, man. Just an honest person. Yeah, I mean, it's not it's not hard to do, man. It's not hard whatsoever. Let me go back and I'll read a few more of these and then we're going to get into some other shit. We're going to paramedic. Hard to explain to people when you're dealing with constant calls. Hard to be uh, deal with intense emotions. Have to remind ourselves it's not our emergency. Yeah, exactly. And, and like, it's a good thing, right? I remember, bro, like whenever uh, my mom, like she had like a situation uh, at the house. It's not, wasn't the fire, but it was like one before then. Bro, those paramedics got in there. They just t fucking did that shit. Like first responders, those are the real giga chats. Those dudes just show up and solve the problem. Like they're not thinking or crying or getting upset about what's happening. They just go in there and fucking deal with it. That's it. And so, yeah, I think it's a good thing. It's absolutely a good thing. Maximum respect for them. 